hello everyone happy black friday week with diamond art club and welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and if you are new here or if you are back welcome i'm so glad you're here and i am really excited to get to share with you guys another sneak peek unboxing from diamond art club as part of their big black friday release now i've had some other videos that i've shared with you guys this week and i still have some more <laughs> that are coming because diamond art club is releasing an epic amount of kits for their black friday weekend and um 100 in total is what's scheduled to go up on black friday the release times for this kit along with all the other black friday releases is going to be 7 a.m pacific time on friday morning that is friday november 24th the day after thanksgiving black friday 7 a.m pacific time or 10 a.m eastern however if you are in the diamond tier of the rewards program just diamond sorry ruby members um you actually will get an early access window beginning at 9 p.m pacific time or 12 a.m eastern the night before i'll also be doing a countdown live stream with my friends jacqueline and Lindsay for the third year in a row and uh, we'd love for you to join us if you want some company as we uh gear up for the big black friday release and That'll be here on my channel starting about two hours before the diamond release. Now the kit that I have for you guys here, I am extra excited about because it's from an artist that I adore and is an image that I've seen a ton of people asking about. And so I'm so happy that I get to share with you guys today that Under the Stairs is here by You May Art. So, um, all right, let's get excited, you guys. This is gonna be a big one because of course it is, look at all those details. 70 by 96 centimeters, square shaped diamonds. We are gonna get all of the detail in this kit. And how cute would this be as a companion piece to flower delivery? <laughs> Love it, same artist, same sort of um, themes and obviously Diamond Art Club too. So anyway, as far as the box goes, there's some blue branding here that comes with Diamond Art Club's kits that have square shaped diamonds. There's some info on the back about how to diamond paint. I also have a beginner video that'll be linked below and your kit contents and then a QR code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Now for Black Friday, Diamond Art Club is, if past years are any indication, Black, um, Diamond Art Club is gonna run a discount that is gonna be like one of the best that they ever run throughout the years. So any discount codes that I mentioned to you today, if you're shopping on Black Friday, whatever the Black Friday discount is, is probably going to be better. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is, they haven't told, they haven't told us. So. We'll, I'll be finding out alongside you guys and I'm really excited to, to see what that's gonna be. Now, that is really stuck. Okay, if you are by chance watching this in the future and you're thinking of making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club, I do have a 20% off discount code. It is an affiliate code, but you're still welcome to use it. It's my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And that always, any you know commission I might make from that does go straight back into my channel. And I really, really appreciate if you use it, but please, please, please don't feel obligated. You're gonna see some different discount codes in this video. And again, whatever Diamond Art Club may or may not run for Black Friday is gonna be better than that, I'm guessing. So we are gonna get a toolkit. Let's take a really quick look at this. It's gonna have everything you need to your diamond painting along with some nice, nice little bonus upgrades that Diamond Art Club does include. All right, so you're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color on those is going to vary. And you're gonna get a pair of tweezers that are very, very sharp, a bit stabby, so do keep the cover on those. You got a bag of baggies in case you want to store your leftover diamonds in those or kit up into those, I suppose, that you'd need more than what comes here, I think. You're gonna get some pink heart wax. There's a little caddy in here and it's got two little plates of it and there is a thin, kind of plastic film on there. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen. And then you're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers that you can pop in the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then here is a tray with a little tray stopper on the end that you can pop in and out. And then we've got a roll of washi tape. The print on this is gonna vary and as far as how and why and where and what to use this as far as a diamond painting goes. Um, I have a video actually dedicated just to that that I'll point you to if you're curious and you're not sure. And then last but not least, you're gonna get a cover minder and the style on this is gonna vary. This is really cute, I haven't seen this kind before. Uh, there are magnets on the back and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover of uh, the area that you're working on, on if you like. 
<clears throat> sorry guys it has been a filming extravaganza this week and so if i start to sort of stumble over my words a little bit my apologies <laughs> Uh, we do also get this smaller sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the title and some of the stats. Some people will use this on the side of the box uh, to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty and creative to do with it if you like. Now let's take a look at this canvas. Now I already know that it is gonna be too large for me to fit all in frame to show you, but I will be sure to insert a picture in just a bit and I'll tell you when to look at the screen for that if you're if you're curious. But I wanna make sure you get to see the whole canvas and frame as well as some of these details. So let's see, okay, this is the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at the details and the confetti right out the gate. Oh my gosh, so cute, I can't, I am, in love with all of the books that we are seeing um amazing absolutely amazing i think this looks incredible okay and then here we go here's obviously uh, the stairs that she's under which is so funny and the artwork when i look at it it's like i don't even see the stairs i know the name of the pieces on um, is under the stairs but i just see i just see her with her books and everything so Holy cow, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. How many people are just screeching in excitement? I think that this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a really popular one for this release. Oh my gosh, look, look, look I just wanna swish. Okay, so take a look at the screen. I'm gonna pop up a picture here of the whole canvas and frame in case you want to see that. And just, uh, amazing absolutely amazing i love her okay so let me show you what all was included um we do have a big bag of diamonds here which we're going to take a look at in a little bit but first i want to show you what else came with the kit we do have a pamphlet here that has a thank you note on the front some info about what's included in your kit there's a beginner video again i have one as well to be linked below lots of helpful links below including a link to the vip facebook group which is a handy resource once you've made your first purchase some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks. And then here is info about the mobile app. So uh, you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well, which take advantage of that, but probably after Black Friday. <laughs> here we have a larger sticker sheet. There is a spot to write your start and end date. Again, under the stairs by You May Art. And there is that absolutely breathtaking and perfect and amazing original artwork. Oh, I love it. I love all of the details and giving me life, love. Okay, so diamond shaped square, the size is again, big. This is definitely one of the bigger sizes the Diamond Art Club does offer and I'm sure it is to capture all of these details. I remember when this piece was in voting and thinking, I just don't know if that's gonna make the cut truly because all those details, but look at this. It looks incredible. Holy cow. Okay, over here, you're gonna get a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So I put these on my storage containers once I kit up my diamonds into storage containers. I like that these are pre-cut for you and everything. And then the color codes, this column right here, this actually comes from the DMC color code system, the DMC brand of floss. A Couple of exceptions though. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have four of those special diamond colors in this kit. I'll tell you more about those when we're looking at the diamonds. Then as you look at the bottom here, sometimes you will see colors at the very end of the list that have a letter at the beginning, like this one has a Z. So this is gonna be another kind of special drill type called a fairy dust diamond. And I will show you and tell you more about those once we are looking at the diamonds in just a bit. But first I do wanna take you on a tour of this beautiful canvas. You can see all of those gorgeous elements. Now, by the way, in case you're new and you didn't know, um, if your canvas is wanting to curl up like this, you can just roll it backwards the opposite direction to help it lay flat. Uh, Diamond Art Club's canvases also will lay flat on their own. They have kind of a self-flattening feature, but I just kind of <laughs> curled that side in a bit and we're, we're good to go here. So anyway, 
At the top, we have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and they have some poking, some finishing here, so you shouldn't have to worry about any real fraying on your canvas. I never have on my Diamond Art Club kits. Uh, the back is really soft and plush and overall the material is just a really nice weight to work on. It holds the diamonds well and lays flat really nicely. It's just a really nice material to work on. They also use poured glue on their canvases with a nice clear plastic cover. The glue is pretty sticky, so um, that is, of course, always a plus as well. And uh, the, there's a color list or a legend over here at the top left going down and then at the bottom right as well, down to the bottom of the canvas. Look at these florals. Like, I'm telling you, wouldn't this be so gorgeous next to flower delivery? That's another You May Art canvas that Diamond Art Club has. I've seen it completed. It's just as stunning. So here is a thumbnail of the original artwork and then the title. Again, this is under the stairs, the size and copyright. So Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this artwork from You May Art. What that means is that You May has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being fairly compensated for it. And Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork from the artists. And with art theft, unfortunately, being common in the crafting world, I'm all about companies that are doing right by artists. Now here at the bottom, we have links to their socials and yet another discount code. That's where you're going to want to follow along for um, information and previews of the Black Friday releases, both because they're sharing different images on both accounts. Uh, then we have info about their lifetime warranty down here. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you're out of any diamonds, have any trouble with the canvas or the glue, um, contact the customer support and they'll get you taken care of. Just kind of take a little little tour of the different areas of the canvas. Now this canvas is gonna have a good amount of what we call confetti. Confetti is where we have lots of color changes in a small area like here. And uh, you'll see that a lot throughout, I think. <laughs> and uh, so you'll be changing out that color in your tray a bit more often as well as um, probably doing some more single placing than anything. And so let's take a little bit longer usually, but the payoff is usually a nice level of detail. I am seeing bits here and there of what I'd consider color blocking actually kind of down here in these stones. This is color blocking, lots of the same symbol in a small area. So you can multi-place there, have the color in your tray for longer, and it tends to go a little bit faster. But I think you may art and a kit like this, it really is gonna benefit from all that confetti. Even look at how good her eyes look. And the cats too, like in the printing on the rendering, it looks so, 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 so good. And the artwork inspiration for this, I think is just, is just delightful, but not going into details. Um, the, the books here, I feel like have some really nice kind of linear color, not linear color blocking, I guess, almost like linear confetti. It's like there's color changes in here, but you could still use a multi-placer and place like these books in long lines. So kind of a mix of both. I like these hanging lights. If I had to put money on it, I'd say that we're gonna have some special drills in these gorgeous hanging lights, including up here. Those little twinkles, I love it. And then the stairs over here, I love the rendering, like the, the effect of the lighting of the glow against the, the stair railing. So pretty and something I feel like Diamond Art Clip does well are these those little details. <gasps> She's a stunner. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this kid is here. I'm loving all the You May art lately. It's just, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at these diamonds together. Nice big bag of these. There's no way I'm getting these back in here after, after this unboxing, but I will pull them all out just for you guys. Now there is a sticker on the side that tells you what kit these go with in case you store your diamonds separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this, this big roll of diamonds out and see what we're working with here. <laughs> All right, really, really pretty color spread, but lots of dark colors in there, you guys. So there will certainly be some pretty colors in the books, but keep in mind that the, the corners, the background, the edges are gonna have some more darker colors, but I think that's just gonna make the center and the glow even more beautiful. <laughs> so right off the bat, we do have a few bags of 310, which we're just gonna take a, a little bit of a closer look at these because sometimes 310 can be finicky, no matter what company they come from, honestly. Now Diamond Art Club does manufacture all their diamonds in house. And uh, so they do have more quality control over them in that way. 
and usually their drills are pretty good and they've been really receptive to feedback if I've had colors that I've had issues with, which I really appreciate. I just snap a few pictures and let them know, hey, uh, just, just wanna let you know, this seems like this is not quite up to your guys' usual standard. Do have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 823, which is a dark blue. Lots of kind of jewel tones in there, really. And then some pretty browns. And the the bags of diamonds do have the DMC code printed on them and they even have a line to kind of let you know which way is up. Because there are some DMC codes that just have like eights and sixes and nines and uh, you might not necessarily know which way is, is right side up. So you guys, here is our first special drill color and our only fairy dust color. This is Z743. And this is not just a regular yellow diamond. These diamonds actually have a really amazing glitter coating on the top that's a really fine glitter. Like someone just brushed a really fine glitter powder on there. The effect of these is really shimmery and just absolutely stunning. There's a little something in there. A little traveler, that's fine. Um, I love fairy dust drills. They're my favorite kind of special drill that Diamond Art Club offers. So we do have this yellow one. Yeah, I bet those are gonna go in the in the hanging lamps. <laughs> so uh, only fairy dust color, but there should be some ABs in here too that I'm sure we'll get to. And I will definitely go through the canvas with you guys and show you where the different special drill colors will be found in case you're curious. I love, love, love all the special drills Diamond Art Club has been incorporating into their canvases lately, so. Um, especially fairy dust. I feel like when they launched fairy dust drills, that was it. <laughs> I thought, okay, these are, this is my favorite. <laughs> um, so some warm browns and oranges in here. Some greens, lots of greens actually in this one. Oh, including an AB 108. This is a nice kind of, oh, there's two bags of it. My bad. This is like an olive green AB, like a light olive green. In camera, it almost reads as more of a Kelly green. I'm gonna try to fix that color <laughs> in post, uh, but that is actually more of a light olive green in camera. And we have two nice bags of ABs. Oh, ABs. This is the first AB we're seeing, sorry. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these special drills get their name from the Northern Lights, and they have this iridescent coating on the top that is reflecting almost like a rainbow of colors. It's really eye-catching, I think, and definitely more striking than fairy dust drills are, but um, can have a gorgeous effect where they've been charted. So um, we'll find out. We'll take a look at the canvas, I promise. <laughs> Some more jewel tones here. Some more browns and blues. Orange and green. And then here is our next AB color, 129. It's a pale yellow. A smaller bag of that one, but still a good amount. Looks like we've got in total 59 colors in this kit. So, you know, pretty colorful. With all the different colors of kind of the books and the flowers. I'm not surprised. Here's our third AB, 125. That's kind of a pale aqua blue AB. A pale sky blue maybe. That's really pretty. Where's that one gonna go? Not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> and then this last strand, you guys, just a few in here, including our fourth and last AB, 133. It's just a true tangerine orange AB. And the coating on the top really reads very orange. Some ABs, the coating on the top kind of gives a different color, but that one's definitely orange. Okay, so we're looking for numbers one, two, three, and four for our fairy dust colors. And then it looks like a little, a black dash on a yellow background for our fairy dust. Did I say that right? I think so. Um, let's see. Okay, so I see a tiny sprinkling. You guys see the, there's four of them four orange reddish or five reddish orange dots down here that is all of our that's our orange ab actually and then there are some lines the yellow in these flowers is the yellow fairy dust a uh, fairy dust color not fairy dust ab that's that's not right over here this flower has some of the orange ab in it and then there's some of the yellow fairy dust here um these flowers in their centers the light blue you're seeing is the light blue ab 
And then we have some of the yellow fairy dust in here, as well as a handful of the orange AB just kind of giving some sparkle and life to those flowers. These flowers over here have both the yellow fairy dust and the pale yellow AB in them. If you wanna see it up close, just as an example. So the dash, this, that is the fairy dust color, lots of it there. And then the number three is the AB, the yellow AB. And then um, her shoes, um, I almost said her name, uh, have orange ABs in them. And then um, yellow fairy dust sprinkled throughout this blanket, as well as some orange AB here. And then this guy has some of the, um, what color was the three? The pale yellow AB and the tummy and highlighting here. So cute. And then let's see. Okay, so the yellow that you're seeing over here, like here on top of this book, and then right here, that's yellow fairy dust. There's some yellow fairy dust right here. And then over here, hanging off of her broom is some orange AB. That's that brightest color you're seeing right here. There are some yellow ABs in the spines of some of these books. And then, yes, so the sparkles over here, these are all yellow fairy dust colors. There's some yellow ABs right here. Did I glance? I did. I knew I was going to do that every time. You guys, it's the green ABs that get me. Okay, bear with me. Hop back down to the bottom of the canvas with me. Every time. I did that in like two other sneak peeks this week. Okay, so there is a light green color in the plants, like all, all across the bottom. There's this light green color in the plants. Up close, um, the number one tell more easily over here the number one the number one all through here you guys that is that light olive green ab it's in these plants uh it's over here in this plant <laughs> all throughout okay i knew i was gonna do that too i was like there are two big bags of that one ab and i haven't seen any of it it's because i overlooked it okay so these plants lots of these plants just assume there's gonna be green ab's doing highlighting in these various plants all throughout this kit okay <laughs> Going back to where we were, this plant here has a bunch of the green AB highlighting in it. And um, let me see, where were we? Okay, yellow ABs over here I mentioned, oh, the twinkles, that's where we were, the lamp, the twinkles. Okay, so the twinkles that you see, that's our yellow fairy dust. And then in these hanging lamps themselves, you guys, we have both the yellow fairy dust and then the color that almost looks white in camera is actually the really pale blue AB. You see that up close. That's kind of what we're working with here. The number two is the blue AB. Really light blue, but still blue. Okay, her bow has tons of orange ABs in it. That's gonna read more red, I bet, when they're down. Um, Kitty's ears, yellow fairy dust. Eyes are the pale yellow AB. There's some fairy dust in this plant, hanging plant right here, the yellow fairy dust, as well as some of the orange AB throughout and some of the green AB as well. This kit is gonna be so sparkly and shimmery and gorgeous. So all the yellow you see here, all the yellow is yellow fairy dust. And then we do have some sparkles. These little twinkles here are yellow ABs, as are these and these. There's also some blue AB highlighting in uh, this lamp. And you guys, if you haven't seen fairy dust next to ABs, it's such a gorgeous effect. I love it. It's so, 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 so pretty. Over here in this plant, uh, the red flowers do have some of the orange ABs. We have some yellow fairy dust throughout along here. And of course, some green ABs. There are green ABs highlighting all throughout this hanging. I'm not going to guess what plant this is because I don't plant. Um, <laughs> but up ivy, some kind of hanging plants. There are lots of the green AB doing some highlighting, including here on the stairs as well. Um, this lamp, again, we have some of the yellow fairy dust, some of the light, light blue AB, and these twinkles are yellow fairy dust as well and then finally as we get up here actually okay these lamps have the there's a yellow ab sorry there's yellow ab in both of these lamps there's yellow fairy dust in this one there's green ab's on the this light green on on here is green ab in these plants and then if you guys see the little the sprinkling you call it magic motes or stars whatever you'd like that is the really light blue ab that's been sprinkled throughout there i like that effect <laughs> didn't miss an opportunity so you guys that is 
the special drill placement where you're going to find those uh, for the most part of course a lot of it is going to be centered here in the focal point of the piece and the artwork and she's just going to be amazing i don't <laughs> i don't even have to see it finished to know that this is going to turn out amazingly if it looks this good just print it on the canvas it's going to look even better with diamonds down i have absolutely no doubt whatsoever so quick re recap for you guys the name of this one is under the stairs it's by you may art it is a pretty big size it's 70 by 96 centimeters or 27.6 by 37.8 inches 59 colors with one fairy dust color and four ABs. And this along with the other Black Friday releases are going to be coming out on Friday, November 24th at 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern. If you're in the diamond tier of their rewards program, you do get an extra early access window that begins at 9 p.m. Pacific time or 12 a.m. Eastern time the night before. So, um, and feel free, like I said, to join us for our countdown live stream starting two hours before that time. I'll have a time zone converter down in the description box in case you especially if you live overseas and this is you know a totally different set of release times and you're not sure what time that is in your time zone so you can use that converter converter if that's helpful but you guys tell me what you think in the comments is this one you've been waiting for alongside so many others um, is this on your shopping list for the weekend I am guessing that Diamond Art Club will have anticipated its popularity but at the same time people go crazy for stuff like this. So it may sell out very quickly. I would certainly be there uh, ready to shop if this one is on your wish list for the weekend. So um, feel free to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with my diamond painting content. This week, it's a whole lot of Diamond Art Club Black Friday sneak peeks. I have more for you still to come, um, but I hope this was helpful and I um, look forward to hearing what you think in the comments. So check out the other sneak peeks from my fellow content creators. Uh, they should be you know, going up throughout this week as well and happy shopping. All right, have an amazing holiday week, my friends, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.